Hi everybody, I'm Joe Blair with Golfing the Tri-State. I got a story to tell you. We went to uh, Sultan's Run in Jasper, right? And Will and I went and ate at the Schnitzelbank. And there were a bunch of guys in golf gear and we said, hey, did you just go out to Sultan's Run? We didn't see you. And they went, no, man. We went to Jasper Municipal. Have you been there? I didn't even know about Jasper Municipal. What a beautiful golf course. We're here, we're gonna be talking with Kurt Ubalor. And I'm gonna have to ask him if he's a uh, kin to the Ubalor, you know, car magnets here in Jasper. And also Steve Milligan. Steve Milligan is the, the you know, director, the manager and the director of golf is Kurt. We're gonna be talking with him, playing Joe's scorecard. And uh, I'm not exactly sure what hole we're gonna play yet though, but it's gonna be a good one. I know that, this is a great course. We're gonna get a tip of the week too. It's Golfing the Tri-State at Jasper Municipal. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with Kurt and with Steve on Golfing the Tri-State. Golfing the Tri-State is brought to you by NECA and IBEW Local 16 and Local 1701. The IBEW Local 16 and NECA, the Southern Indiana chapter of the National Electrical Contractors Association, want you to know about the quality difference of union electricians, a direct result of the ongoing superior training our electricians receive. It eliminates mistakes and saves you time and money. Non-union contractors cannot offer the high quality of training provided by our joint electrical JATC. The Good Samaritan Home is independently owned and operated and offers residential living and Alzheimer's care. The Good Samaritan Home is more than just a job because for me, caring for my residents is a privilege. It's like caring for my own family. Over time, the residents become a part of your life. There's nothing like the feeling of a resident hugging you to remind you how awesome it is to work here. The Good Samaritan Home is a non-for-profit health care ministry affiliated with United Church of Christ. Call or visit GoodSamHome.org. When you need residential or commercial plumbing services, call Allstott Plumbing for your home or business. Employing a large team of certified plumbers, they will get your project finished quickly and correctly. Allstott Plumbing provides top quality service and specializes in residential, commercial, drain cleaning, and general plumbing repairs. 24-hour emergency service is available. Call today or find out more on the web at allstottplumbing.com. Promark is a leading custom screen printing and embroidery company specializing in all types of custom products to get your business noticed. We offer a full-service art department, in-house screen printing, embroidery, and even roll label production. And because we are locally owned, our clients benefit from quicker turnaround time and direct contact with the most knowledgeable customer service available in the industry. Call Promark and let us assist you in finding a product that will help you promote your company. Promark, we sell attention. Come play through at H&H &H Music, where quality and great prices are par for the course. Pianos by Albert Weber and Young Chang. Digital pianos by Kurzweil. New and used grand pianos. Player pianos by Story and Clark. Beautiful console pianos by Weber and Young Chang. Band and stringed instruments, including Eastman, Jasmine, and Takamina guitars, plus Ludwig and Mapex drums, sheet music, and more. Make a key time at the H&H &H Musical Arts Center for lessons on any instrument. Swing away at H&H &H Music, the trusted name in music. Welcome back to Golfing the Tri-State at Jasper Municipal Golf Course. And don't they look good in these Golfing the Tri-State hats? Man, you guys are rocking those hats. Steve Milligan, right here, director of golf, right, Steve? Yes, sir. And the... Uh, I'm the manager here. The, the manager course. is Kurt Ubalor. And Kurt, you say you're kind of related to the Ubalor car guys? Yeah, somewhat, but not quite enough to get a real good deal, but somewhat <laughs> of a deal. <laughs> I was going to say, hey, man, bring me into the showroom. Yeah. You know, we'll go look at a Toyota or something. Yeah, but they do treat me right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. How long? Now, I know you guys have been here for a long time. Steve, how long have you been here? Well, I've been here since 1988. 1988, so gosh, 25 years? Yeah. 25 years, and how long have you been here? Not quite as long. I'm a lot, lot younger than he is. But, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I started here in 93, and I got full-time in 94. Oh, awesome. Okay, so, so yeah, 20 years at least. Yes. Yeah, one of those young Ubalors. Yeah, I'm, I'm a young one. <laughs> Tell me about the course. When did it start, Steve? When did this course get built? The course got built in 1970 on the front side, and the back side got built in 1988. That happens a lot, doesn't it? The front side gets yeah. built first and the back. So which which side do you guys like the best, the, the older one or the, the newer one? I really like the, 
the back side, it's more challenging, it makes you think more, it makes you use all your clubs, and I think it's uh, for the uh, average golfer, it just makes you think more. Yeah. I really do. Now, usually on Joe's scorecard, we'll play the number one handicapped hole, and uh, I think Kurt's going to play with me. Are you going to play, Steve? No, sir. You're not going to play, but no. you're going to play along yes, with I me. Yes, I will. But sometimes, you know, the directors of golf like to say, hey, that's, you know, let's, let's do one that's a little more challenging maybe or a little prettier. Have we decided which one we're going to play today? I think we're going to play 18. 18. I, I think 18 is a very nice hole. It's uh, up on a hill. You can see the whole back nine pretty well from the, uh, the hill on 18 green. Very scenic. So I think you'll, you'll like that hole. It's very challenging. Uh, second shot, uh, you've got to carry the ball. It's all carry to get you the hole or to your uh, ball to the hole. Okay. So it's a nice, nice, pretty and, nice hole. And the green's elevated. Yeah, the green is elevated, so it's all carry to your second hole, second oh, shot. Fantastic. Now, are there a lot of guys around Jasper like those guys I saw at Schnitzelbank that just come out? I, I saw a bunch of guys teeing off not long ago. You get quite a bit of play, don't you? Yes, sir. A lot of play. A lot of play. It's really beautiful. Who designed the course? Do you know? Uh, Gary Kurt. Gary Kern. Yeah. Is he a local guy or? No, no, no. No, he's one of the architects yeah. like Johnny Appleseeds of golf that right. go around and, and plant these golf courses all over the place. Very neat. Tell me a little bit about the front nine, the older nine. Uh, what are some of the holes there? Any of your favorites? There's a few favorites. I think number two is a nice hole. It's a par five, dog leg left, has a lake. Um, you have you have an option to go over it or not to get to it. If you don't, well, that's a penalty. You got trees around the lake too to get to the green. The trees are really getting pretty long or pretty tall, so uh, somewhat difficult. But it can also be uh, risk rewarding if you go for it in two. Yeah, so it's, I'm the champion of penalties. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Well, then you're like number two. Then. I mean, I'll think I'm playing <laughs> really good. You know, I'll go out and I'll be bragging. Yeah, I broke 80 the other day. And go out and all of a sudden, whoop, 92. You know, hit water three times or whatever. Right. <laughs> but I, I imagine there's some uh, some danger areas around the course yeah, here. Some and, water? Right. And then number four is probably another hard hole, too. You got a sand trap in the fairway, and plus you hit to the left, you go, you could get in the lake, too, on number four. So it's a risk-rewarding shot, too. You could actually go for it on a longer tee shot, and if you do it, it's a good shot. But now, th this is going to be a great time to come this fall and golf here at Jasper Municipal. Join the GTT Club. If you haven't gone to our website yet, go to golfingthetristate.com. Sign up for the GTT Club because it's free, and we're going to be drawing on Sunday for a free round for four here at Jasper Municipal, and that's worth its weight in gold. That's a really uh, a, a good value. What, what is it usually for 18 holes in a cart? On weekdays, it's around $26. On weekends, it's around $30. And 30, that's a and very who, affordable price. Right, and anybody who's 16 over is $18 for 18 holes with a cart. Neat. So it could be $120 value to you. Go to golfingthetristate.com. We're going to have a tip of the week coming up. I think a chip and tip. Right, yes. Kurt? Yes. Right here at Jasper Municipal on Golfing the Tri-State coming up next. Stay tuned. Nika and I-B-E-W, local 1701. Owensboro's best team, contractors with direction, safe electrical work. It's a quality connection done right and on time for your home. A skilled, trained workforce that just makes sense. Nika and IBEW, Local 1701. The Summit in Owensboro, one of the most outstanding golf courses in the Tri-State, has a long tradition of valuing families and the community. The Summit's goal is to bring you the finest quality golf course and service at the greatest value. The Summit Golf and Country Club offers outstanding membership opportunities, but is always open for public play. Take lessons from experienced golf professionals. Buy that great club you've been dreaming of in their beautiful pro shop. And have a meal at the Summit's awesome restaurant. It's, it's time, time for, for you, you to, to reach, reach the, the Summit. summit. What might this be? A black widow spider. Two little mice. Cicada killer bees in my backyard. An army of ants marching on my kitchen counter. A brown recluse spider waiting in my bed. Call McMahon exterminating at 475-1100. Who can help you? McMahon can.
Treat customers as you would like to be treated. Provide a high level of service and always be honest and fair. That's the way the Clement family has done business at Diamond Equipment since 1969. Construction equipment from Case, Cabelco Excavators, Terex Trucks, the best from Hyundai and Takeuchi, JLG Lifts and more. Diamond Equipment also has a wide range of used equipment priced to sell. And the parts and service team is second to none, with factory trained technicians and on-site service available. When you finish with the 18th hole, give Diamond Equipment a call. I'm your worn out wiper blades. Hey, nice air freshener. For 12 bucks more, you could have seen the world. And when you got cut rate car insurance, nobody helped make sure you were covered for this. So get an Allstate agent. <laughs> Call Allstate agent Dan Jost today at 421-1925. The Southwestern Indiana Building and Construction Trades Council. Building the Tri-State with unmatched quality and precision. Tri-State business trusts the building trades to get projects done on time and under budget. The Southwestern Indiana Building and Construction Trades. Hometown people with outstanding integrity who are your friends and neighbors, drug free and ready to deliver. And how they have delivered. Trust them for your next project. Welcome back to Jasper Municipal, golfing the Tri-State. This is tip of the week with Kurt Ubalor, a chipping tip. Yes. And you said to get my eight iron, huh? Yes. Okay, so what, what is the tip for, for chipping with you? What I see mostly about chipping is if someone's next to the green, like we are right here, a pretty well flat surface, mm -hmm. next to the green, almost on the green, but not quite on it, a lot of amateurs get their pitching wedge out. Right. Okay, and they want, because it's a pitching shot, but in my understanding, a pitching wedge is a lot harder to get a ball close to the hole than, say, an eight on because it's a lot room, a lot less room for air. I notice a lot with a uh, pitching wedge, it'll check up and kind of stop. Right, and a lot, it takes a lot of practice to know exactly how hard to hit a pitching wedge and how much it's going to check if you don't practice that shot over and over and over. Okay, so this is more of a rollout, right. getting more started a, lower. Yeah. Punch and run shot. Punch and run. Yeah, that would actually knock off uh, strokes on your game. Okay, great. Well, kind of, how do you set up? Well, basically, you just set up the same way as any kind of chip shot. You okay. just basically put the ball, what I do, put the ball like in front of your ball, off your front, uh, back of your uh, heel here. Okay. Hands in front of the ball. Chip it up. Chip it up. Nice chip. Now, Very good. A little two and a half footer coming right. back. Now, that's what I'm saying. You know, it's a lot easier doing that way than hitting the pitching wedge because you don't know what how it's going to check. Right. That's why I like doing this because it's more controllable and you can do it a lot easier. And how hard to hit it. Right. Is, shall I hit one? Sure. Hit one of your Titleists? Sure. I do have a hole i got to show everybody my my noodle ball my grandson's nickname is noodle so i always get my noodle balls for Ram for ramsey so one of these days he'll watch the old tapes and go pop pop why did you say that <laughs> okay so i, I kind of open up a little bit is that okay that'd be fine yep. but a little like, kind of off your right foot you say yeah a little bit mm -hmm. and just is there much uh wrist action with this or just just a no, turn no just basically just a, a little, little pop Okay, a little punch. All uh -huh. right, see if I can get close here. Might be a little hot. It's all right, though. Yeah, I went a little farther Even than that you did. little mesh, you're still halfway decent. Okay, you want to, want to do another one? Sure. All right, Kurt Ubalor, who gets great deals at Ubalor Motors. <laughs> here he is. He won't give Steve Milligan a good deal, though. Very nice. Hey, now there's a chip for you. <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna I'm gonna have better luck with my noodle ball. Here we are, Jasper Municipal on the putting green, chipping at hole four. Okay. Oh man, I scuffed it! Look at that! Oh, I have one more. Pity sakes, I'm I'm nervous because I'm on TV. Here we go. And Joe Scorecard's coming up soon on hole 18. Here we go. That's a little better. Still, yeah. I kind of sculled it a little far. 
all right. Thank you very much, no buddy. Problem. Good job. Thank you. Tip of the week, Kurt Ubalor, Jasper Municipal. Now, it's very easy to find this golf course. If, if you've gone maybe to Sultan's Run, you turn right on 15th, just go past two blocks to 17th, take a right on West 17th, you go down, I think it's maybe a block and a half, and you'll hit Jackson, turn left, and there's the parking lot at 17th and Jackson, Jasper Municipal. More coming up on Golfing the Tri-State. We'll talk a little bit more with Kurt and Steve uh, about you know life here at Jasper Municipal. Then we're gonna go hit Joe's scorecard on hole 18. Stay tuned to Golfing the Tri-State.